Hi GarageBand fans, it's Dr. Watson here with another GarageBand tutorial. This one is on working with video in GarageBand. First let's talk about getting the movie in. There's basically two ways you can do it. You can just drag and drop it from the desktop. So if you have a movie like this movie here, I could drag it in, uh, just drop it in the track window and GarageBand will set up up here a movie track and along the movie track you'll see frames of the movie and then you'll also have the audio from the movie uh, down below. Let me just play a little bit of that. Range object image right. in the but if you wanted to remove the audio, maybe you wanted to um, put your own audio in, you can just delete that track by saying uh, delete track and now you're left with just the video. right? Um, if you wanted to um, put another movie in there, you can uh, go to the movie drop down menu here and say remove movie. You could also go to the uh, file menu and there's another, it's basically the same thing, movie and remove movie. Also this is where we could have opened the movie originally instead of dragging and dropping. So there's a lot of different ways uh, to get a movie in to GarageBand. I'm going to go ahead and remove this movie and um, go ahead and put another one in place from this same drop down menu here. This is a silent film so it doesn't have an audio track um, but it does still have video and so you can see the frames are up here or something like the frames, little thumbnail preview and then this preview window opens up and you can resize it, just drag it, resize it if you want to you know, see it much bigger and again you can close it here and you can reopen it by just clicking right there and it opens up uh, so you can see what you're scoring. So that's basically how to add and delete uh, a movie to your GarageBand project and also again if this had audio um, we would see the audio track separately and that's nice that um, it kind of separates, GarageBand separates the audio from the video so that if you want to strip out the audio you could um, you know, remove it. Now if the movie is either a silent film like the one I have here or if it had only say voices, dialogue, the, the actors um, talking but it didn't have music um, then you're ready to score the, the music but if it has music in it and you want to create your own music you would have to strip out um, that music. Um, what if we wanted to score it? Well, there's lots of ways to get you know music to go with the film. Uh, one simple way is to use loops. Uh, I have um, uh, prepared some loops in my loop browser and my favorites folder. Um, a uh, sort of a drum, a drum beat here. Uh, actually, I'm going to get rid of this uh, electric piano, which I don't need up top. Uh, remove that uh, track, and I'm just going to start with some drums here at the beginning. And if you want to hear what that sounds like, um, you can have your preview window up and just play it back. Right, so I can see that I have this drums kind of set the tempo for my scene for Mickey and Minnie there. Okay, and then maybe I also want to have um, some keyboards. So I have a uh, electric uh, piano groove we're going to start out with and um, see what that sounds like. And then maybe when uh, Minnie comes on the scene here, we're going to go to a different uh, electric piano groove. So keep keep it going with the electric piano, All right? And then uh, maybe bring in um, a bass there too. Um, okay, bring in a bass here at the same time as that other. Um, that new electric piano groove. So again, I can just keep, I'm going to resize this a little smaller so I can put it off to the side, but I can see, you know, starting with drums and the keyboard, then MIDI comes on the scene and we get a new groove with the uh, bass and the other keyboard. Now they're cranking up something there and then music comes out. So at that point, I'm going to um, have a saxophone start to play. Uh, along with the music that comes out of the uh, animal's mouth. Okay, cranking. All right, there's the music coming out. Um, maybe that's a little bit too loud, so I can go over here, you know, pull down the volume. Now, I've got, just to show you, I've got a bunch of different both audio and MIDI loops in here, but now when the crank uh, happens, 
and many other places you might want to add some sound effects. I have a sound effect out on my desktop that I uh, pulled offline at one of the many free sound effect uh, sites you can find. This is of a winding toy. So I'm going to drop that in here so that it corresponds. And here's where I'm going to use my playhead and just find out when do they start cranking right about there. And so I'll, I'll line up my cranking loop so that the cranking starts right around the same time. And actually there's a few more cranks than I have on the loop, so I'll just loop it out a little more. And I'm going to turn up the sound here. Um, there's all sorts of stuff we could do. Add some reverb maybe to that in the um, um, digital signal processing DSP effects um, here in the smart controls. There's a lot of things you could do, uh, but you get the idea. So now I've got this film. I'm going to close my loop library over here. Got this short little animated film. We'll preview it over here. Um, that starts out right, with drums and keyboard. Hey, Mickey, come on over here. Right? So now we've got a couple more loops, and then the crank starts, and music comes out, and that's the sax. Okay. The last thing I wanted to show you is that um, you could also record um, with a microphone. So I'm using a um, Blue Microphones USB Snowball mic, and I'm going to record, um, in this case, I'm going to record me um, being the voice talent for Mickey. There's a point where um, Mickey seems to be calling Minnie. So right about there, I'm going to record me, you know, saying something like, hey, Minnie, come on over here. So let me open up a, um, um, a new track, an audio track that is um, set up, let's put this way up the top, there we go. It's set up uh, testing, testing, one, two, so we have a pretty good, uh, did a little sound check, got a pretty good signal there. And um, I'm just going to record me um, with my voice uh, saying, come on over here, Mickey. All right, here we go. Um, actually, let's rewind it a little bit. And now I'm using headphones right now so that I hear the background tracks, but my microphone only hears my voice. That's important too. So here we go. Come on over here, Mickey. All right, and I'm going to use one of these voice um, uh, presets. Uh, let's go with... Um, um, experimental and helium. Now this might not be exactly the Mickey Mouse sound, but uh, let's see what we got here. Come on over here Mickey. <laughs> so uh, a fun project to do with video is to actually do a video mashup where you, you strip out the, the existing uh, dialogue that the actors are saying. You write your own script and then um, uh, record that. Either you or you and some friends can record the voiceovers and make the scene completely mean something different uh, than it originally did. That could be a lot of fun. Okay, and finally, the last thing that um, we need to do is export our video from GarageBand to a typical movie format. And the way you do that is you go up to the File menu and Movie, and then there's a sub-menu that says Export Audio to Movie. And let's go ahead and uh, save this on the desktop. Uh, you can use standard definition, high definition. I'm just going to leave it on standard definition and leave it on the desktop. Save. And right now it's um, you know, mixing all of our audio and our video. And when that gets done, we should be able to see out in the desktop that we have a new M4V video. I'm going to open that up right now so you can see it. And right now, this isn't GarageBand. This is actually the independent movie uh, with all of our music um, and uh, sound effects and voiceover. Come on over here, and that is working with video in GarageBand.